Chief Mojo Rison. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, 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 Princess Smiley Face, how are you doing? <coughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Chief Mojo Rison took over the show. What's up, everybody? Peter Joseph here for another video on this Wednesday evening, getting close to Wednesday night, and you know what that means. Back again with another video on this Wednesday evening, close to Wednesday night. Right here on the Peter Joseph YouTube Wrestling Channel, youtube.com slash Peter Joseph. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe right now to this very channel. And my only channels down there in hell, otherwise known as the description box below. Show your love and support. You can leave a comment if you wish, but leave stupid comments. Bye bye, you're out of here. Go fuck yourself. Don't forget to share the video all over the internet. Follow me on social media if you dare Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Showing love and support there, but be real, if you're not, you're out of there too. You're blocked, and then, and you can go fuck yourself there too. And don't forget to hit that bell, turn on all notifications, so you don't miss the next video, because if you miss anything, you're pretty much SOL, and I think we all know what that means by now. Uh -huh. If you don't know, look it up. And that's all I gotta say about that. And we move on. And if you're new here... Welcome to the party, pal! We really hope you enjoy the ride. Sit back, relax, grab a fucking cold one, whatever you got, as always. Pepsi. Whatever you got. It could be a beer, it could be water, juice, glass of wine, mixed cocktail, I don't care what it is. But whatever you got, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And thank you for your support, as always. And we get all that. And we move on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is hot today. It was 84 degrees. Great day, but tomorrow, gonna rain. But it's gonna be still warm and not that warm as today. It's gonna be around 70, 70 to 75 tomorrow. It's supposed to rain in the afternoon, which sucks because I gotta go out later in the afternoon. Gotta do some errands and I gotta uh, have, have some dinner with the folks. Watch game three of the Rangers! I'm gonna watch that. The fucking Rangers last night. <laughs> Double overtime thriller at the Garden. The Mecca was rocking last night. Vincent Chokecheck with a power play goal. In double overtime, the Rangers win 4 to 3 like they won in game one. But now they go to Carolina tomorrow night. And maybe end it in games three and four. And we'll see what happens with that. But Carolina really brought it last night. But ugh, stupid penalty in double overtime. Not good. And that Rangers power play is just so good. So good. Kreider man with a goal. But Trocek was great. Igor standing on his head 54 times. That was great. 54 saves by the man. Igor. Yes, Master. No. But Igor really playing some good fucking hockey right now. The Rangers are kicking some ass right now. Six down, ten to go. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on TNT. Game three in Carolina. If I win tomorrow, it is over. Pretty much it is over. But, I mean, we have to see. You know, Carolina is... You know, House of Horrors for the Rangers last few years, especially in 2022, even though they won in Game 7, 2022. But we'll see how, how that goes. They only need one to bring it back to MSG for Game 5, if possible. But if they do lose tomorrow or Saturday night, then there will be a Game 5 at the Garden uh, this coming Monday night. And I may or may not be there. I'm not sure yet. Didn't, I wasn't there last night because something came up, so... I'm hoping to go Monday, but we'll see what happens with that. And if if it's pretty, if they win, they sweep them this weekend, then I will be at Game One sometime next week. Whenever Boston and Florida end their series, because that's right now the um, Boston and Florida Game Two tonight in Boston. So see how that goes. Hopefully that goes seven again, but you know, and Florida wins again, but we'll see. The Rangers can if the Rangers can can. Win, you know, can win that series in at least five, maybe six. They get an advantage because they have home ice. Plus, the rest. But, 
Hopefully, this series will not go 7. I don't think it will be. I don't think it is. I think it's going at least 5 or at least 6. And the Rangers will win. Hopefully. But we got that. But we got that tomorrow. And that's that. We got Dynamite coming up in about 12 minutes. Should be good for some uh, good show from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We got a major huge announcer from Kenny. Don't know what that's going to be. Maybe retirement. After what happened last week with the Bucks, Okada and Jack Perry basically whipping the living crap out of him. And we have to see what happens with him tonight. Um, we're going to hear from Serena Deeb uh, uh, regarding her, her match with Tony Storm. At double nothing. I think we have we have Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta in a one-on-one -on -one match. We're going to hear from... Uh, we got Brody King and... Hey kids, it's Edge for the TNT title. As uh, Edge is going through the entire House of Black. And probably lose to Malachi Black at double nothing. Because I think that's the next match. Anyway, we'll see what happens with that. And much more tonight on Title Might. So stay tuned and I will be doing... Uh, my Dynamite review uh, later tonight. I would do NXT on Thursday night. I would do it tonight. I would do it. I was gonna do it now, but I was like, I got you know. But I got a little bit more news to talk about. And this story, kind of, kind of big. Not that big, but bigger than the trolls' dicks. But that's another story for another time. But in any case, in any case, I'll do NXT tomorrow night. When I get home. Uh, and then I'll do... On Friday afternoon... I'll do Ring of Honor and TNA. Then SmackDown. Because there's no Rampage this week. Uh, Rampage will be on Saturday night. After Collision Live on TBS. Not TNT. TBS this week. Thanks to the Rangers. I mean, <laughs> but it's, it's okay. I got picture in picture. So I can watch both. I don't care. Well we got that. Damn. It's 81 degrees outside. It feels like a sauna in here. Boy. I mean, I'm on a, I mean, and the, and the heat's off, so it just feels, I mean, when it's hot outside, it's just like a freaking sauna in here, so I might have to bring out the, bring out the, the oscillator, the, the fan, and I might have to put on my, my air conditioner for the first time this year. I mean, let's just see what happens with that. But that's that. But stay cool if you're in the Northeast, because after tomorrow... It's gonna get a little chilly, but it's gonna be raining on and off for most of the most of the next ten days, which sucks. May feels like April right now. April we didn't get a lot of rain, but May now we're getting a lot of rain. Where we're supposed to get flowers, and then it's supposed to be the unofficial start of summer. I mean, today felt like summer. Holy shit! Eighty-four degrees today it felt great. It felt pretty damn good, especially if you went out for a walk today, like I did. Take a nice little walk in the park. But you gotta stay hydrated because, you know, you might get heat exhaustion. But get that. Alright, not about that boo, funky. Let's get to the video at hand. As the title below says, we got some big, huge, huge news regarding Monday Night Raw. Now, we all know Monday Night Raw is gonna be going to Netflix in January. But it will. Originally was going to be going to end in September on the USA Network, and then we didn't know where Raw was going to be for the rest of the year. But today, we found out on various websites that Monday Night Raw uh, and their deal with the USA Network uh, is going to end. It was going to end in the fall of 2024, meaning September, and um. We didn't know where, what was going to happen with Raw, like I said. So today, TKO, the brand that owns WWE, or Coast co-owns it, whatever it is. But anyway, TKO reported their earnings for the first quarter of 2024. Among other highlights in the release, it was noted that WWE reached a $25 million deal with NBC Universal that will keep Raw on the USA Network for the rest of the year. From September all the way till the end of till December the 31st, basically. So in other words, Raw will be on the USA Network through December. That's good. 
That's good, because if we don't know where Raw is going to be, we have to watch it on the stream. Or we have to watch it on Peacock. If it's going to be on Peacock, I don't even know. But, that's it. So, so Raw and SmackDown will both air on the USA Network from September through December. So, Monday and Friday nights on the USA Network. That's pretty damn good. And then when January starts, uh, Netflix will have Monday Night Raw. And then NXT will be on, I don't know, Tuesday night, Thursday night. Who knows what night for with on the CW11. Wednesday night, we know it's Dynamite. And then Friday night on the USA Network with SmackDown. And then Collision and Rampage on TNT. Friday and Saturday night. Or preempted when it has to be. So that is pretty big news for the WWE. And um that's uh pretty much it. Uh you can you can go on um Brandon Thurston at Brandon Thurston on twi- on X on Twitter. Uh and uh, he has the entire results for the TKL report. For the first quarter of the year, we're about to, we're in the second quarter right now. The third quarter, at second or third quarter right now, the f- the fourth quarter begins in September to December. So it's every three months. So right now we're in month number two. We're about to hit month number three in June. So there you go. So that's pretty big news for WWE, and you know, you know, it sucks that Raw is going to be off the USA Network come January. The first January of 2025, Raw will be on the on Netflix for three hours, and um, I don't know how many people are gonna be uh, subscribing to Netflix if they haven't already. Um, you don't have to really. I mean, there are commercials on Netflix, so but I don't know how they're gonna play play around with that. Uh, they don't really have to worry about ratings, like they're gonna get like a 1.5 or something like that. I don't think the ratings will even matter. But SmackDown's will, and Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, NXT. But it'll be interesting to see Raw on Netflix starting in January. And then what what else happens with NXT ratings and Dynamite and uh Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, and the like. So that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so that's really all I have to say. A little quickie video here on your Wednesday night. May the 8th, 2024. And like I said, I will be back later tonight right here on the channel with your AEW Dynamite review for tonight's show. And I will also be live tweeting on my Twitter. Link to my Twitter down below in the comment. In the... In the... Uh, in, the uh, in the description box. Along with my, with my other channels, which you can subscribe to right now. And that's pretty much it. So leave me your thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think of Raw staying on the USA Network through the rest of this year? So we got seven more, and hurry, put like seven and a half more months to go for Monday Night Raw on the USA Network every Monday night at 8 p.m. So we got that. So leave me your thoughts and opinions about that. And hopefully we'll have a nice little discussion about that. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go watch some Dynamite. And I'm going to have fun on your Wednesday night delight. So a two for Wednesday coming up a little bit later. With with uh, my Dynamite review. And then that's pretty much it. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching and until next time. If you're not down with that, well I got three words for you motherfuckers. Fuck you, man! And that's it. Until next time. Peace.